President of EduQuest International, Dr. Avis Glay, says that it's easy to teach kids that are bright, but the challenge is to lift up the kids that are at the bottom of the learning curve. How do we make sure that there's excellence with equity? That we're raising the bar for all kids, the gifted kids must get even better. But how do we bring the bottom up? Because the society is going to be as good as the kids who are at the bottom. And if they're not educated, if they don't have a positive sense of who they are, believe me, we won't rest as a society. One of the statements I heard many years ago, somebody said, if they don't go through the front doors of our schools upon graduation, they may come through the back doors of our communities. The Yes to Education conference is the brainchild of Makia Gibson, who sought to bring a number of internationally acclaimed educators to address Bahamian teachers. Founder of the Leadership Learning Center, Dr. Douglas Reeves, who was a presenter at the conference, said that the audience was extremely receptive. If we know we have to pick some activities that have high leverage, that is, if we work on this activity, it helps us in everything else. The international evidence is that writing is one of the highest leverage activities we have. If you write more, it helps students in science, social studies, reading, and math. She has every student in the school writing in the same place, at the same time, every day, and getting feedback on how they're doing every day. The schools that I've seen internationally that make that kind of a commitment to writing make dramatic progress. But it's not easy to get everybody to say, this is the most important thing in how we'll start our school day. But you already have a local example of that writing priority being made. And that's going to pay off not just in writing, but in reading and every other subject. Chairperson of the conference and CEO of EduCulture, Arlene Nash Ferguson, also had high praise for the conference and its organizers. I truly congratulate Makia. He is a young, enterprising Bahamian. He has brought in all of these international education experts who are here to share their knowledge, their experience, and their research with the teachers of the Bahamas. And as you know, education is near and dear to my heart. And I personally welcome and embrace any opportunity that will expose our teachers to the newest thinking in education, and of course, from a cultural perspective. We will filter all of these ideas, hopefully, and apply them to the Bahamian context and what is best for our children. What we did um, is in education, there are international conferences which take place all around the world. Those conferences have registration fees of $700, $800, plus your flight to Los Angeles or wherever these conferences are held. And so what we wanted to do was to bring a high caliber, high impact conference to the Bahamas that Bahamian educators in particular would have access to at less than half the cost. And so this year we were able to do that. Um, you certainly can't beat our lineup of speakers and the, the cost is nothing compared to what um, you would pay internationally. And so professional development isn't something um, in my experience in the Bahamas that is um, rich. It's not something that is really um, um, innovative and exciting and and occurring in an ongoing way. And so we really want to be a part of the ministry's effort and other school systems effort to really increase the um, emphasis on professional development for teachers. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.